Welcome back to my home. It has been a while since I brought a decorating video uh, on my channel here, and I'm happy to get started and kick off the spring decorating here in my living room. Most of you know I have an open concept home and I divide it up into sections, and then I will do a walkthrough home tour for you. So I hope that you guys are going over to Home Spotlight. I'll put that link in the description box below and you're enjoying some of those spring homes that we feature different homes and some of those videos are inspiring ideas uh, for you to decorate in your own home. So I hope that you're enjoying that and I hope that everybody's getting some warm weather in their area. It's sunny, as you can see out the window, sunny and 60 today, and we'll take that. As you can see up on my mantle, uh, anything that I had to climb and do, I went ahead and did, and that is putting my spring wreath. I got that last year from Hobby Lobby. I put that up on the mirror. I'm gonna do something a little different. I found an inspiration on Pinterest, and I'll point that out as we go. So I also went ahead and put in some white cherry blossoms and some twig stems in my demijohn jars up on my mantle. And if you wanna know where I got those, those are, were at Kirkland's online. I'll try to put the link, if they're still available, I'll put the link in the description box below. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you what I have for my mantle. Now, the mantle this year has just been a struggle for me. I don't know why. It's usually been pretty easy every season, but for the spring, I think it's because of the dark stone that's on it that is really throwing me off when I'm trying to use some spring colors. So you'll have to let me know whether you like it or if you think I should tweak something, move something, add something. I welcome all of those comments and suggestions. I welcome any of those comments. One of the items that I have is I got this cloak from Michael's online. I love it because I love the little wooden handle on the top, but I got these little terracotta seed pods that you can start your seeds, garden seeds in, and I thought these would be ideal. I stacked them in fours, and I'm gonna put this up on my mantle. See, I believe I got this last year from Hobby Lobby. It says it was $26.99, and this is just a little dark uh, bunny. I love the color of him, and he's not going to stick out like a sore thumb on my mantle if I use white, but uh, I had a white bunny up there. I'll show you the difference. This one is also from Hobby Lobby for $23.99, of course, 40% off. But I'll just show you the difference. Here is the white. Not too bad. And then here is the darker one. You'll have to let me know which one of those you like. The next item I have put together is this little wooden crate that these little seed pods came in from Cotton and Crate, that's where I got those from. And I added some little terracotta pots that I had got probably from Lowe's. And this is just some lavender greenery I've had for so many years. And I'm just gonna set this up on my mantle. Now guys, I had pretty much cleaned everything off, dusted, uh, vacuumed, mopped, and just my basics. I do have a little a plant stand that was sitting there, and I added the two dough bowls over there. Uh, I like to use them during the fall and winter holidays, but even for the spring and summer, I still like to display them. So I'm going to leave them there. Over here, as you can see, this is the quilt that I've been working on. I just have my binding to do on my quilt. So I've taken it off of the stand. I want to finish that before the month is up. So I'm hoping to get that done. But let me go ahead and finish decorating the bottom of this 
fireplace and I'll show you what I have. I thrifted this milk bucket. I believe it was last year or the year before, but I got a bunch of Lily Isle flyers from Amazon. You got six bundles and I sort of fluffed them up and I've got all six in this bucket and I just love how it looks. So I'm gonna put that on my fireplace for the spring. The next thing I had fixed up is I thrifted this basket from Harrodsburg Antiques for $4 last year and I put in some florals that I just had on hand. I had some lavender, yellow, uh, some uh, peach colored and some purple thistles and I put them in there and this is my Pinterest inspired decorating tip that I found this year on Pinterest and I'm happy to share that with you. Now I usually put some birch logs in there for the spring and the summer uh, up to the fall when we start using it again but when I seen that on Pinterest I was so inspired and I just love this I can change these florals out for the summer all the way through up to the fall till I'm ready to use it. And I just love the old vintage vegetable basket with the florals in it. So you'll have to let me know if you like that. But I thought that was a neat idea. And then over here, I'm hoping to have a plant when I go out and they have some tulips. I'm gonna set some tulips there for the spring and enjoy that. Or my chair over here, I, I just have these, I think these are 18 by 18 pillows and I wanted something very neutral on those because they're striped, they're like a beige in a white striped chair and these are very, uh, have a very cool look to them. So I just wanted something uh, neutral on those and I have one for each chair. Now for this chair, I have the neutral pillow. I have a cream throw that I had thrifted several years ago, and I still love the color of this. And I thought I would add my little summer, spring and summer hat. little table the only thing I have is the spring egg I got several years ago from Hobby Lobby and it's just going to be very simple on the small table I may add some florals later on but for now that's what I'm going to go with I have this little bird that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and I'm just going to put that on my fireplace now for my large floor lantern, I have this aqua jug. I got these from Hobby Lobby many years ago and I still love using them and bringing them out. And these are just some tulips. I do have some more of the white cherry blossoms that's coming from Amazon and I'll change these out. I'm gonna use these outside. Uh, on my front porch, but I'll change these out. But for now, they're the same color that I'm going to use, so I'm going to go ahead and put that together. For this end table, I just have some bases that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love the colors. $11.99 on that one. Of course, it was 40% off. $17.99 on that one. And yes, the prices are still on there. And Thrifted these little baskets. I don't like the way the Kleenex boxes are. They're a little bit too colorful for me. But so I just opened the Kleenex box and put the Kleenexes in here. And they sit right here if we need one because I like the look of the and texture of the basket. So I thrifted and got two of these and probably paid about 50 cents for each one. To go under the shelf of each one of my end tables on my sofa, I have this little watering can that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna say quite a few years ago, 
Let me see. This says $17.99. Those are some magnolia stems that I had ordered from Amazon several years ago, still reusing, and I'm gonna set this under this end table. Under the other end table, I have a little wooden bowl. I believe I got that from on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Those are the little eggs that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. And I'll show you up close when I do a living room tour. And then I have a bunny and this is gonna go under this end table over here. The last item for my living room that I wanna share with you are these pillow covers. I'm so very happy I got two of these from amazon.com. They are embroidery, I'll show you up close. The back side is just, and it's got the little piping, green piping around it. It's a zipper cover that goes on my down pillows and you can find those in my amazon.com store in live, under living room. And you'll be able to find these also on my Amazon storefront under spring. But these are so pretty. I love all the neutral colors and the texture that the embroidery gives. So that's just simple that I'm going to put on my sofa for spring is the two pillows. All right, guys, let me go ahead and give you a close-up tour of what I've got done and decorated uh, in my living room so far. So you all, I appreciate you being here in my first spring 2024 video just to kick off the spring season so uh, i apologize i know that i did not get my winter home tour out i wasn't uh, feeling uh, real good but i am feeling better i'm going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a close-up with some music here at the end to enjoy it without my voice in it and I hope that you all are having a wonderful year so far, and I hope that uh, you're getting some spring weather and able to enjoy that. My next video, I'm moving into my entryway and my console. I can't wait to share that with you. I hope that you guys are having a blessed season, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.